This is E.B. She owns this house, and she's been adding more Christmas decorations every year since I was a kid. At E.B.'s, it's Christmas, year-round. Those pants do not mount the most passionate defense of your rear. Ow! Oh, hey, uh, no, just... Ow! Ow! Uh, no, just, uh... Here, here, easy, 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 uh. easy. easy. Catherine Patton. I've known her for 30 years. Wow. Sam Wise Reed. I always knew somebody would come walking back through that door. Uh, the, um, the tree, it's sort of stabby. Yeah. Come on. Five years. I had things? Might as well make yourself useful. We got two more of these things in the truck. Three Christmas trees, Elizabeth? No. Three more. Here we go. Like I said, tonight could be big. But let's go back to the beginning. Actually, it all started under this very table. Nineteen eighty-four, the year Cat's mom died. Also, the year our dad started a furniture company together. Do you think the employees feel obligated to join us tonight? What you mean, the first annual Reed and Patton come or we'll fire you Christmas party? <laughs> no, no, no. I think it's so cool for EB to host. Sammy, Cat, we made a table just your size. Okay. All right. Oh, well, it's our first try. We'll get better. Kitty cat? Huh? You hungry? Thirsty? Huh? You need to go potty? All right, well, if you need anything, you just come find me, okay? Or Mrs. Dixon. It's this nice lady's house. You know who that is? Yeah. Remember her? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, she let you play with her wind up toys when you came to visit me at my office? Yeah. Huh? All right, sweetie. I'll see you in a little bit. She's fine. You worry too much. It's not possible. Holidays are the worst. I'm all she has now. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> 
Should we tell him there's no booze in it? Why? Snowflakes and candy canes Presents under the trees All the Christmas lights Shine so bright It's the perfect place to be Slavers and mistletoe Friends and holiday cheer With the hush of snow and the fire Christmas is right Don't you think, don't you think maybe it's, it's time we stop pretending. So, college boy, you've missed a lot since moving to the big city. But I'm here to help, to fill you in on all the gossip. Small town, lowdown, hubbub. Why are you even talking to me? What does that mean? It means we don't like each other. Age five, you dared me to ride down the stairs on my rocking horse. 19 stitches. You could have said no, I didn't force you. Age 15, you systematically date all three of my best friends and then using inside knowledge. You went to bed till you were 12, inside that's my fault. Knowledge. You turned them all against me. Great. So you got me all figured out, huh? Yes, I do. Remember how happy you were when Ashley Kalb asked you to prom? Where Ann said, Dad, I have it on reasonable authority she showed you her tractor. Okay, that is none of your business. And where would she get an idea like that? Hmm? In fifth grade, Kelly Stover used to pick on you every day after school. Until the unfortunate dirt bike accident. Funny how he never picked on you again. Wait, you broke his arm? When we were five, I made my dad teach me how to bake brownies just so I could bring them to your house. Nineteen days in a row. One for every stitch. You were a weird kid then, and I am sure you're a weird semi-adult person now. Just don't ever again tell me who I do and don't like in this world. Okay? I'm also the only person in this house honest enough to tell you that your thrift store jacket smells like a gerbil cage. Rum cake. With actual rum. Now, I was just wondering if, perchance, you might be able to point me in the direction of some Christmas-themed entertainments? As a matter of fact, oh. 
Cheers. Oh. That's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Love fixes Christmas. Really? You don't think replacement Santa? Mm. Classic Christmas movie bait and switch. They do that so they can put some lovable character actor dressed as Santa on the box. It's like 10 minutes of the movie, max. You are so smart. Well, what about this one? It's all you? Okay. I'm gonna go with lovable orphan brings attention to the true nature of Christmas while completely ignoring obvious economic disparity. Perfect. What? Yeah. Yes. What about those? What about them? They're not Christmas movies. It just doesn't add up. No, no. Just look more closer. All of Evie's movies are Christmas movies. No. Yes. The donor shop hold up. Yeah, and she here she gets the dog on Christmas Day, and then here he's dressed as Santa, right, with the fish and the yeah. beard. Yeah. Yeah. And um. Well, what are you doing creeping around a cow shed at 2 o'clock in the morning? That doesn't sound very wise to me. Amazing. <laughs> they're, they're not Christmas movies. Per se. Yes, but, but Children. I see that you're enjoying my collection. It's very comprehensive. Yes, it is. <sighs> Big city idiot taught error of his ways by saintly slash intellectually challenged small town folk. You children think too much. Just please, please pick up, okay? Yes, yes. totally. Uh, yeah. No, no, yep. no, we are totally doing that. This is not family is the only gift you need. It's Christmas Eve hijinks. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, Uncle, and God save you. Christmas, I have that. You can't mean that, I'm sure. I do mean it, gentlemen. What right have you to be made? These things actually taste better when you light them. You see that beautiful woman over there? Yeah. I fear her. Right? No, it's a healthy fear. I still fear her. And she uh, said that if I light one of these, bad things will happen. <laughs> that is vague. Ominous. Uh, ominously vague. Or vaguely ominous. I don't know. You're not lighting, not lighting it. <laughs> <laughs> What? You seen the kids? No, oh, they're around somewhere. Yeah, yeah. It's too bad. That's crazy. It's insane here, Catherine. Crazy. But how about you, please? You thinking what I'm thinking?
My forehead says Feliz, doesn't it? So when are you heading back? Uh, day after tomorrow. My dad's probably waiting to open presents. Yeah, I, know. I think my mom is in the car, so. Yeah. You know, I was thinking last night was kind of like summer camp. Huh? We got to hang out, you know, and it was fun, but like nothing happened, obviously. Yeah. So, do we hug or? High five, maybe, or chest bump. Um, so are you coming back next year, or...? Uh, well, you know, that's kind of depending on certain... things. Like us? Us, this, yeah. And, uh, holidays do require tradition. Yes, they do. So, until next year. All right. Of course, one extra year isn't really, like, a tradition so much as a... Coincidence. Yeah, yeah. coincidence. Yeah. So how long, then, until it becomes, like, a... Like a habit? Five years minimum. Okay, and and then how many years until it is officially a tradition? Ten, at least. I can work with that. Okay. All right. Best life. Total loss of smell. Go. Okay. Cut off, Charlie. So don't get this game. Well, Miss Kelp, or may I call you Ashley if that's not too forward, best life is really not that common. For example, she gave me complete loss of smell. Now, having recently seen a study that directly ties sense of smell to taste, memory, and sex drive, I could convincingly state the negative effects of having such a change occur. Or I could become a bathroom attendant to the Sultan of Brunei. <laughs> Imagine being able to show complete indifference to the smells produced by a diet consisting solely of the most exotic legumes and boiled goat. Imagine the salary such an individual could command. Okay, I'm pretty sure the Sultan of Brunei can afford lobster. I have it on good authority that he likes boiled goat. It's comfort food for him. It reminds him of his mommy. Why do you hate happy people? I can't believe I showed you my tractor. I thought she'd never leave. She's very loyal. Because that's what you want on your team, so. Seriously, Ashley Kalb? You didn't used to mind. Oh. I request that that be stricken from the record. So what? Couldn't find a date? I'm, um, uh, newly single. Breaker or breaky? The guy's an idiot. Or a narcissist. Or a sociopath. An idio-narcissopather. Uh, oh! 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 Drink, 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 come on! Drink, 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 Jimmy, what is best in life? Is this? Wrong. Hold. Hold. Milo, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, hear the lamentation of their weapon. Damn Skippy. Now!
profits are way up this year. I invested in a tech company up in Montana. What a return. Let me get this He and the volleyball are friends. If I hear the term hanging Chad one more time, I'm going to... No, see, you want to stay on the island. If they get mad at you, they'll vote you off the island. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, if they get mad or if they form a conspiracy, yeah. they'll vote you off the island. Oh, so you want to stay on. Yeah, there's like three or four people left right now. The freaking volleyball! <laughs> Are you serious? So, there's three guys waiting to get into the gates of heaven on Christmas Eve. St. Peter, on this day, has a special rule that they have to come bearing gifts. Christmas stuff. So the first guy digs into his pocket, pulls on an ornament from the family tree. St. Peter approves, and in he goes. Um, excuse me, I'm just gonna powder my, um, uh, something. The second guy digs into his pocket, and he pulls out a, a scrap of wrapping paper and a bow. St. Peter approves, and in he goes. Third guy, he pulls out a bra and panties. St. Peter looks at him, scowling, and says, what do those have to do with Christmas? Wait, they're carols? Bingo. So, what we miss? thinking about moving back here. Son of mine. That's never good. Fruit of my loins. Gross, Dad. I don't get you. You wanna know why? Do I? You are not wired for contentment. What? That's true. Seriously, that's like the worst thing that you All right. Your life. Your... Your... Real life, your life away from here. Your internship. Everything is falling into place. But you can't help but stir up the pot. You know what, Dan? I just don't have to listen to this now, as I am, believe it or not, an adult. So is this you putting on your big boy pants? Have you even asked her? Who? Come on. Look, there are two kinds of sacrifices you make for a woman. The good kind, the bad kind. How do you know which one's which? Well, it kind of depends on how the story ends. So they're gonna make you full-time at the workshop? Well, that's what my dad said. It's the only thing you can really count on making money on. Yeah, seriously. It's just one of those things, but we have a long time. You got a second? I don't know, I just realized moving back here might be the only thing I really want to do. You know, just take a breath. Just for a second. A second. A pause. Pause. An aardvark. What? I was just curious if you're gonna repeat everything that I said. So, but what would you even do? I don't know, I'm sure they could find me some crappy job down at the shop and then hang out. Doesn't really matter, right? And then what? What do you mean? After the breath, then what? Then we figure out what we want to be when we grow up. I see. So you hanging out with me would be like, what, playing Peter Pan? Yo-ho-hoing with the Lost Boys? Pretty awesome, right? Sammy, I really care for you, so I'm going to try to be real gentle here. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Sorry, I was just being kind of awesome. Okay. So clearly I said something. Yes, you said something, you idiot narcissopath. I am not a pause. No, I, I didn't mean... I'm not a rest stop or an intermission. I am a grown-up. Tell me about the job. Uh, it's, it's more of an internship. But at an actual newspaper. Yeah. Take the job. Because otherwise, I will kick your ass. 
Seriously, you'd be worse than an idiot-narcissopath. You'd be an idiot-narcissopath, ass-wad, bag, jerk. You done? Tool. You know what I think? Sometimes not making a choice is a choice. But I'm not above it, you know? Sometimes you just, you gotta own it, gotta put on the little dress, put on a little makeup, you know, do a little hochi kochi hochi kochi Because sometimes it really does make things go a little easier. I mean, look at me, do you think I dress like this for fun? This bra is literally cutting off my circulation. He gets it. Will you quit that? I can totally see you. You look like a little golden retriever puppy waiting to get walked. He's not coming. You don't know that. His mom said so. His dad said so. He's not coming. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Wow. You guys feel that cute. Right? Okay. Come on. What? Toby Weissman and his brothers are throwing the three Weissmans party. <gasps> we're going. No, I, I just want to stay home and oh, watch a movie or something. Don't just, we're going. Come on, guys. I need your help here. Party! 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 I hate you. <laughs> My secret? I'm the best you've got. I guess it could be worse. Come, they told me for a pum Oh, my stars and corners. <laughs> What's with the old lady square? Elizabeth has a cuss jar this year. I'm down like 20 bucks. Oh, you must be Catherine. Cat. Of course. Kitchen. Shouldn't we be sitting with your parents? No. Well, I'm still helping with dessert. And my dad, when he drinks, he can get a little... Rambunctious? Go with handsy. So, Rebecca, do you guys have, like, a cute story, like how you met, or...? It's just a normal story, really. Uh, like anyone. What, are you kidding me? No, no. It's like, imagine one of those super classy movies where really it's just a romantic comedy, but because they have such big names in it, they call it a dramedy. We met at the UN. She's a translator. I had some background diplomatic interviews that I had to do. A Korean, a Libyan, and a Swede. Walk into a bar? <laughs> <laughs> Eleven languages. Every time I walk into a different room, she was just there. Effortless, too. Just like, Annyeong, Asala, Akalamu, Golden Dyke. It's impressive. So... So, after the Swede... And you're Swedish. Australian. Half. Right. And the other half? Uh, you know, just your basic mutt. <laughs> uh, so after the sweet, I asked her out. And I gave him a shot. And thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. So, are you two living together? Not yet. Uh, he has to meet my parents first. Which happens when? We're flying to Melbourne next week for New Year's. <laughs> And what about you? What about what? Do you have a... A boyfriend? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tons of them. I mean, not all at the same time, obviously. Uh, just kind of lined up like planes on a runway. Um, uh, that had a certain... Um... Do you ever find yourself speaking the wrong language at work? Surprisingly often. 
just kind of like this right now for me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just getting a little lost in translation. Bingo. And how about now? Hmm? Anyone ready to take off? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, he certainly looks very capable of lifting heavy things. Excuse me for a minute. in here. Ha. Huh. Great expectations. Looks old. Very. Merry Christmas. Uh, thanks. There's a character in there, Miss Havisham. She falls head over heels for a man named Compeyson. He's the love of her life. Now, her cousin, Matthew Pocket, warns her that he's just after her money, but... She won't hear it. So, there she is on her wedding day at 20 to 9, wearing this beautiful lace dress. And there's a knock at the door. It's a letter. Compeyson has stolen all her money and left her at the altar. So, she stops the clocks, leaving them all forever. Twenty to nine. And she wears that dress every day as she grows old, refusing to leave the house <laughs> until she is nothing but a waxwork, tattered lace. What is this? I call it uh, Christmas tree number two. Drink it like a shot. Cuss jar. Tastes like a candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, honey, I know what it's like to see the person that you love with the person they've chosen. And it's not you. When your father introduced me to your mother, for the first time all those Christmas Eves ago. Oh man, I wanted to hate her. I really did. But I saw the way he smiled at her. And it just wasn't one smile. It was a whole vocabulary. In my house, the calendar froze on Christmas Eve. And that's why you keep the Christmas lights on all year. Yeah. Cat, the world has enough Havishams. Thank you. 
to get out of here. I rode my bike here. I'm sorry? It's just, I can't take you anywhere. And you're the kind of girl who deserves to be taken. I mean, out somewhere nice. And I only have one helmet. I can drive us. You don't want to stop and think about this, Jewel, okay? Okay. Sorry, no, what? what if she what? said welcome to the family. Huh. And that you went to bed till you were 12. And then um, once I finished my um, college degree, I moved to America. So she told me, if you're ever going to propose, and she should be ruled for a proposal, right? She said, not in public. Oh, man. Not on her birthday. So, of course, I had to do both, right? Yeah, of course. And, man, that ring. I went to the jewelers to pick it up, and then I went to the bar. <laughs> man, come on. I mean, this big, right? So I'm showing it to women at the bar. And let me tell you, a hell of a way to pull chicks. Oh, yeah, yeah. The eyes were like dinner plates. Just, ah. I mean, it's huge. It's, Honey. Yeah, baby. Come on. All right, show him the rock. <laughs> it's gangster, right? <laughs> I hate him. Understood. I still cannot fire him. He is grotesquely competent. He was at my house. He used my shower. And then he rode his bike to go propose to her. With the steak and shake? What part of that P.O.'s you the most? The steak and shake or that it wasn't you? I'm gonna go home. Kitty cat, you dodged a bullet. <laughs> huh? I wish I was one of those dads. One of the ones on TV that know what to say. You do pretty okay. Defining interview like 15 times tonight. Yeah, I moved it. Trust me. It's, it's really not a big deal Um, I heard about your Perfect. My humiliation has multiple time zones. Yeah, kind of Well, my dad already offered to beat the crap out of him, so good uh, because in all honesty that guy would completely wreck me All right, see you later uh... You have to stay All right, I'll leave for a few minutes. Nice. All right, I'm going to go in and say hi to the parents, and then I will meet you at the table in a second. In the meantime, I actually have something that I want you to think about. It's pretty serious. You suddenly find yourself with mice for fingers. Best life. Go. <laughs> Sorry, hon. It's just so wonderful to have you home. Yeah, well, you're kind of like a stalker. Uh, stalker mom! <laughs> just getting Rebecca some Christmas gifts. You're supposed to be in London. I re strategized. <sighs> Samwise. That woman. Once in a lifetime opportunity, those were your words. Yeah, no, the guy who came up with the whole once in a lifetime idea was a total idiot. I'm pretty sure that you get, like, three or four, at least. And what did Rebecca think? You flying halfway across the world to comfort Kat. Actually, it was her idea. <laughs> Sorry, but your dad taught you dick. Uh, swear, Joe. Your father taught you wiener about women. She just gave you permission before you asked. So does Kat know that you're here for her?
That's poisonous, don't you? Tears and inappropriate drinking and self-abuse of just about every kind, but 
eventually I did get to a place where I am not even remotely over it. Ah. Ah, come on, 20 years. Walk it off. No, seriously, you've been hitting me like this for 20 years. 25. I think I would've got used to it by now. That would mean I was doing it wrong. I, I know who did the breaking and the upping or whatever. What are you talking about? She called me. Rebecca, she was really drunk. How did she get your number? She called me from your phone. And what did you talk about? She did the talking. I mostly just listened. I don't think anybody had ever broken up with her before. So... It all had the very unfortunate side effect of making her human. She, um... She actually wished me luck. With what? That is unbearably mortifying. Oh. Okay, uh, I, I need to go back. It is fantastically cold out here. Swear drawers back there. Also, back there is life and warmth and truly awful music. And out here, I feel like I'm trapped in, like, a Jack London novel. Come on. We'll share it. What? Put it on. And then watch. Okay. What? What? There. Let's see if I can zip this thing up. Here we go. There. Problem solved. Uh, I like it. Tauntaun esque, I dare say. Okay, so walk slowly. Like, like, just normally, just relaxed, calm walking. Stop totally that. normal. I can't control my arms. Stop it. I hey, everybody, that. everything's fine over here. No big deal. Oh, I'm not <laughs> Thank you. So what about you? What about what about me? Post Clint, you seen anybody? Nobody's serious. But what does that mean? <laughs> you said but. <laughs> but seriously, what does that mean? No, nobody's serious. All right, we're hanging a left. We're right up here. Okay. I went in for that left. Stop it. Almost there. Whoa. Da, 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 da. That's big. Your dad said you hadn't seen the new place yet. All right. Cheese. Okay. All right. Hey, <laughs> Don't do that. Oh. Wait, is it the right key? Maybe it's the wrong key. That's yes, might, it might be the issue. This place is a lot nicer than I remember. And me with the new apartment to furnish. Mm, you can't afford it. I'm uh, pretty sure I could get a rate. So, where's your cubicle? Cubicle? Yeah, or, you know, wherever you work. I'll show you. Here, my atelier. You, you made all this stuff? Like, with your hands? Yeah, this is all reclaimed barn wood. We're still working out how to recreate that texture in mass production. You're a craftsman, or crafts woman, crafts person. I had no idea. Yeah, I got that. No, I, I just... You, you thought I was just some girl who worked in the office. This feels incredible. It's a tiger curly maple. I'm really good at what I do. My stuff gets shipped all over the world. What do I do? You work for a newspaper. Actually, I've worked for four different newspapers. Do you know what I do? Yeah, you write. You ever read anything I've written? Do you even know what I write about? Fine, we both failed the pop quiz. Happy? You should probably head back.
Look, can we just stop and talk for a second? There's nothing to talk about. Catherine, Annette, Patton. Get in the truck. I think that I thought, after all these years, because of this, that I knew everything about you. But I was wrong. Sammy. I'd, I'd like to change that. you. I am so sorry. But you have to know. You have to know that I will never do that on purpose. Okay? Okay. Now we can go. Sure about this? You're not cold? Eh, I made it harder stuff than you. You can be a little squishy. That is a truly awful thing to say. Oh. Plus, I'm not done with the punching, so you could probably use the extra padding. Fair enough. So, where does that leave us? I think we could stand to be a little more honest with each other. Maybe even a little... Careful, we are now back in the land of the swear jar. Hmm. I was going to say... Foolish. I'm gonna need it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe don't wait a whole year next time? Okay. say sick like like at the hospital with that chart with the smiley face on one side and then the really really sad guy on the other I'm like halfway to sad guy uh, I think I'm gonna need a picture for confirmation what and, you know proof of illness or I could just come over there uh, no 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 it's no problem I'll be there in 10 oh wait just give me a minute crud
Having established that you're clearly not avoiding me. Can I, like, call an ambulance or a priest? I mean, is my voice really the last thing that you want to hear? Tell my... Connor, I... <laughs> Poor cat. Oh, sorry, cat. I should mention that you are now on speakerphone. Um, uh, her flight phone malfunctioned, but everything's perfectly all right here now. I'm fine. How are you? Honey, do you need anything? Because Sammy here seems... Uh, uh, negative, boiling. negative. It's highly contagious here. Give me a few days to lock it down. Large amount of germs. Very dangerous. We lost her. Pull a Han Solo? Drat. What's going on? Nothing. I promised. Okay. I thought that this was the year that we were going to be honest with each other. Maybe even a little foolish. Sammy? No. I get it. I don't think you do. So make me. I have my life, you have yours. But they intersect? Yeah, for one night a year. Like Brigadoon. Uh I don't I don't Never get mind. that. Well, on the bright side. I guess if we do this over the phone, you can't actually hit me. Yeah. Cute. You wanna play best life? Sure. Okay. Best life. You're stuck in Illinois forever. Go. You entitled intellectual snob. You pathetic, unimaginative townie. Wow. What? No, I, I didn't mean it like... No. Bring it. Worst life. Go. Okay. You're stuck. Same town, same job. I love my job. Of course you do, with your lovely little troll workshop. Troll? Dwarves, or elves, whatever. The tiny people from fairy tales who have workshops. It says the man named after a hobbit, you... Swear jar. I'm not even in that house. And when did you finally move out of your dad's place? Like a year ago? Two. And how far away did you move from daddy? It's a small town. Yeah, like three blocks. I, I bet you still have breakfast with them every single day. So? So, th that's not normal. But it's normal to ignore your family all year? What? Don't you dare hang up on me. Don't worry, anything you want to say to me, you can say to my face. You're not invited. I don't care. Maybe it's not your turn. My turn? Yeah, to get your way, to be the boss. To say how this is gonna go. Just turn around, Sam. Why? What are you so afraid of? Sam. I need to talk to you about something, something important. I don't want to hear it. It's all just a game to you. Are you kidding me? I'm here. I'm here every year for you. <laughs> and then you leave. You don't come here for me. You come here for yourself. Oh, come on. For a few days a year, you get to be Mr. Big Shot. Better than everyone. Better than the saintly slash intellectually challenged small town folk. The irony is... If you ever stayed longer than a few days, we'd all find out that you're not better than us, wouldn't we? You're so insecure, you can't hold on to anything real. Put down roots. Really? You've had eight jobs in six years, right? Yeah. You figure if people really got to know you, if they saw past the pretty boy face and quick smile, they'd throw you off the plane. Wow, yeah, no, you, you nailed it. So you can't commit to a job, to a girl, 
Hell, if you couldn't commit to Rebecca, amazing, perfect Rebecca. Listen to but me. that's okay, isn't it? Because you always got me, good old cat, waiting around for you year after year like some kind of idiot. Just stop it. Not anymore. I'm done. So go back to your big city and don't expect me to be waiting around anymore. Just like that, huh? Like you're so perfect? No. Forget it. You should go. No, go ahead. What were you going to say? Nothing. Nothing to lose, Sam. Might as well. Okay. Let's talk about your dad. What about my dad? He's, he's just the world to you, isn't he? And you're not going to share him with anyone. It doesn't matter if he's happy, right? You, you can't even see what you're doing to him. Or maybe you just don't even care. As long as you get to stay in, in, in this snow globe where nothing ever changes. I mean, you're still sleeping on the same bed that you've had since you were 12 years old. You can't even sleep in another bed. So? Yeah. Does that sound healthy to you? And you love to play the whole dead mom card. But the truth is, you don't even remember her. You act like your heights are weathering, taking walks down to the graveyard to see where she's buried, but it's not because you care about her. All you're thinking about are the two plots next to her, where your dad's going to be buried and where you're going to go right next to him. It's all so pretty and poetic. You say that I can't hang on to anything real, but you've spent your whole life in this tiny, tragic fantasy. <laughs> I'm sorry, just, just open the door and come outside. I was thinking maybe before everyone got here, uh, you and I, we could go and, uh, um, uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh, we can totally wait. That couldn't. I'll be in the kitchen. Doing kitchen things. Okay. <laughs> Does this belong to anyone? And then, then the milk is gone, and then some cookies are still there. Oh, okay. Well, then, does Santa mind if you eat the cookies? Well, you can eat, only eat one or two. Hi. Hey, there you are. Who's this? This is Allison. Allison Wonderland Townsend. Allison Wonderland. I kid you not. 
if you can't see how awesome that is, I don't... Uh, no, it's just... She's my goddaughter, so watch yourself. Who does she belong to? Flint. He's not so bad. Right, Bug? <laughs> you are... Yes? No, it's just... Use your words, Sammy. You astound me. Wow. It's been a while since I've astounded anyone. I mean it. You are truly unpredictable. <laughs> That's not even remotely true. Did you get my Christmas cards? Yes, I did. They were kind of, sort of, supposed to be an apology. I was wondering, actually, if maybe we could take a walk. An apology accepted. Don't even worry about it. You know, it's funny that you're here tonight of all nights. It's Christmas Eve. First Christmas Eve in five years. If you knew how much I thought about some of the stuff you said. No, I was just angry and, and hurt and, and lashing out. You were right. No, I... No, I, it took me a while to figure it out, but you were. And tonight, I'm gonna do something about it. What's that? What does it look like? A box of the ring variety. Bingo. I think I was in denial. But here there was this really good man in my life all along who deserved happiness. But for one reason or another, kept it at arm's length. And then it occurred to me, what if the weight of the question were lifted from his shoulders? You know? If happiness is what's at stake, then what does it matter how you get there? Well, wish me luck. What just happened? Help! Oh. Mom? Please! Yes, baby, what's wrong? You. Shocking. I just got your text. Office in three minutes? Close the door and have a seat. Ah, uh, what is going on, Cat? Evie, have I ever told you how much you mean to me? <sighs> what has gotten into you? Come on. I remember our first tea party. You made us finger sandwiches and these little cupcakes with bright <gasps> green frosting. On Mother's Day, when it was a little too hard for my dad to visit my mother's grave. You and I brought her favorite flowers. Blue, Zinnia. When I was 14, you took me into the city. And we went window shopping, pressing our faces against the glass until I forgot while we were there to buy my first bra. It was mortifying. But somehow you made it okay. When I was 15, nursing my first broken heart after Kevin Wardlaw dumped me for not letting him go spelunking under said bra, you took me out for root beer floats. And you taught me at least four new swear words. <laughs> and I don't really have a story for this one, but it was in the recipe, and it's pretty. The point is... You're the only mother I've ever really had. Uh, drink it. Oh, now. Trust me. I don't even know why I'm here. I saw the ring. You can't possibly think that's a good idea. That is becoming increasingly clear. It's just, you know, we talked about this, and she knows that you don't really get her. She's been over you for years.
Come in. I got your text. You said five minutes. Have a seat. Okay. <laughs> A really good friend of mine helped me realize something. That maybe part of the reason that you never let yourself find romance was because of me. <sighs> you two are the most important people in my whole world. My mom and dad. And I know you pops. You're never gonna pull that trigger. <laughs> it's not you. So, I'm gonna make this easy. Will you, Elizabeth Dixon, consent to ask my father, Thomas Nathan Patton, to be your husband? I, uh, do. Tom. I will. <laughs> Ella. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Yes. Hi, sweetie. Well, hello there. Uh, I have to go. Um, but it, maybe I'll be back for New Year's or, or something. Let's go for a walk. Uh, yeah, he just left. What? Well, he was gonna do something stupid. Like what? Well, I find myself at a crossroads because I could tell you, or... I, I will cut you, Cal. <laughs> that was pretty convincing. Thank you. I mean, somebody had to tell him that that was never gonna happen. Cat. There's something I think you should see. What it's worth, I've been trying to rewire myself. What does that mean? Just something Dad said a few years ago, that I wasn't wired for contentment. I didn't say that, did I? Yeah. Oh, Sam. What? How long have you been carrying that around? Why is it the only times that kids listen to their parents are the times that they shouldn't? <sighs> Something stupid. 
I bought her a house. Us. Cat and I. A house. job blogging so I didn't have to live in the city I know it's a long shot I'm trying to get her to leave here come with me to say it. No, it's dumb. I'm just daydreaming. I, I just thought if, if we could build something together. I don't know. A long time ago, I realized my favorite part of Christmas was you two. Watching you two knuckleheads bounce off each other. Sam, this is one of those times you should listen to your parents, okay? When you find that special thing, you need to go for it. She's the girl. She's always been the girl. <laughs> Where'd you are? Yeah. Let me talk. Because I, I need to say these things at least once in my life or I'm going to make myself sick. And if you feel the need when I'm done, you can rebut. I want to say you said but, but this probably isn't the best time for that sort of thing, is it? Okay. Okay. I think... I think that I thought you already knew this, but, but I've come to realize that the things that I think and the things that I say, they, they don't always... Um... I am now. 
always have been. And always will be. Totally. Completely. Crazy in love with you. Really? got all kinds of things to tell you and to show you and then you're gonna have questions too but for now all it boils down to is whether you and I can build something together Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> hey, look. Best life. Thank you. Oh my god, let me see that's great! <laughs>